Now in this video, I am going to explain new people how to calculate, how to find out hybridizations in different molecules. For example, total we have sp hybridization, sp2, sp3, sp3d, sp3d2 and sp3d3 are there. I am going to write sp, sp2, sp3, sp3d, sp3d2, sp3d3. This is simple trick for you people and here the number is 1 plus 1, 2. Here the number is 2 plus 1, 3. Here the number is 3 plus 1, 4. Here the number is 5. 3 plus 1 plus 1, 5. Here the number is 6. Here the number is 7. So number game. For example, if I give you an example of methane. This is the molecular formula of methane. Carbon belongs to fourth group. So right here 4, hydrogen belongs to first group, right here 1, 1 4 is a 4, plus 4 1 is a 4, total 8. If the number is below 8, you have to divide by 2, that is our trick. So number is 8, so divide by 2, you get 4, 4 means sp3. Second example, if I take it. PCL5 phosphorus pentachloride. PCL5 phosphorus belongs to fifth group and chlorine belongs to seventh group. 1 5 is a 5, 7 5 is a 35, total 40. If the number above means a beyond 8 or something else, divide by 8. 8 5 is a 5 means that is SP3D. And we'll discuss some more examples we'll take. If I give you IF7, iodine heptafluoride, iodine belongs to some group and fluorine belongs to some group, 1 7 is a 7, 7 7 is a 49, total 56. By 8, 7, 7 means again the number is SP3D. For example, CO3 minus 2. CO3 minus 2 is there. As usual, carbon belongs to 4th group, write 4, and oxygen belongs to 6th group, write 6. 1 4 is a 4 plus 3 6 are 18 minus means addition of 2 and 2 more electrons total 24 24 means divided by 8 8 3 is a 3 means again S P you get once again I explain CO3 minus 2 is the problem they gave carbon belongs to fourth group I have written 4 on the top of the carbon and oxygen belongs to sixth group I have written 6 here minus 2 is the given charge so 1 4 is a 4 3 6 is a 18 minus 2 means addition of 2 more electrons total 24 are there 24 by 8 8 3 if the number is 3 that is s3 one more example we can take for example carbon dioxide would you like to calculate the hydration in CO2 carbon dioxide? Again, as usual, carbon belongs to fourth group, oxygen belongs to sixth group. One four is a four plus two six is a twelve. Total sixteen. Beyond eight, I told you, divided by eight. Eight two is a two means sp hydration. Okay. Here, Jarvis trick is two eight. The magic number 2 and the magic number 8. Up to 8 divided by 2. One more example I am going to tell you. For example, 0 group elements. X, E, O, F2 is that. If somebody asks us to calculate the hydration in XeO F2, 
how to calculate a hybridization in that. Xenon belongs to 8th group, oxygen belongs to 6th group, and fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, halogens belongs to 7th group. So you have to calculate Xenon's hybridization. 8 plus 6 plus 14. Total number is 28. 2 is 14, 1 is 6, and 1 is 8. 20 plus 8 is 28. If the number is 28, I am going to divide by 8. 8 3 is 24. Remaining, if the remainder is 4, again divide by 2. 2 2 is 4. Yes. We got total 3 plus 2. 5. 5 means sp3d. The hybridization is sp3d. That means three bond pairs, two lone pairs. For example, I am going to draw xenon, fluorine, fluorine, fluorine. Here, two lone pairs and one. Look at this one. This three number, one bond, even double bond is there. You have to, you must count double bond as a single bond. One plus one plus one. So total three bonds are there. Here, three bonds are there. This two interest, two interest. Because Xenon belongs to eight group. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think so, students. You might have understood how to calculate, how to find out the hybridizations in different molecules. The number is 2 and 8. Don't forget. Again, I am repeating 2 and 8. That is the trick. Thank you.